Hey guys, how's it going? I have made it to Quebec City and I'm gonna be traveling here for only four days, two days in Quebec City and then some of the surrounding region. I'm right now in front of the Quebec Fairmont Chateau Frontenac. It is impressive, it looks like a castle. And now we're gonna go explore around the old city of Quebec, show some of the cool spots. I hope this gives you some ideas for when you can come to Quebec, of what to check out, what to see. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Woo, the crew! Hi. The crew! Lisa's local here in Quebec. And Kathy's from Peru. Peru, but almost local. But like, almost local. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. yeah, she's stuck here, which is not a bad place to yeah, be stuck. No, yeah, it's amazing. I love Canada. So, yeah. So they're gonna appear in the video more than I am. So <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> take the funicular this like tram down to the bottom and check out some of the views down at the bottom of the hill you need to wear a mask say la loi This whole road is just so good for photography because there's lights everywhere. And if you're shooting on a nice prime lens, all the lights in the background bouquet. And they also have these little orange balls in the sky, which are super cool, on either end of the road. So. Good morning, day two from Quebec City. And today we're gonna explore the rest of what we didn't see yesterday. It is crazy how much this place is like a mini Europe. It's actually amazing. And it's cool that it's in Canada. So it's like an old city in such a new country. Highly recommend it if you ever get a chance to come check out this part of Canada, the French part of Canada. But yeah, this is the view from the Chateau Frontenac, the most photographed building in the world. So here we're at the Citadel in Quebec City. Unfortunately, we didn't go in because it's $18 to go in for a guided tour and the changing of the guards stops after Labor Day. We're cheapskates. All right, so we've decided as part of the day today, we are going on a poutine mission. We're going to get three of the top eight most famous poutines in Quebec City and then try them all together. So here's stop number one, Shea Aston. One of the most famous for sure in Quebec, here it is. Gaston, let's go get some poutine. Gaston poutine. Yeah. Nice. Merci. Good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Merci. All right, we've acquired all three poutines from Poutineville, Chez Ashton, and Chez Gaston. And here we are in the middle of this empty field in the plains of Abraham, ready to consume ready to our eat. goods. Okay. okay. If you want to go for the classic one, French fries with gravy and cheese. I chose this one because I read that this place served the first poutine in Quebec City and it's really famous, you can find it everywhere, it's a big chain. This one is a vegan poutine um, and yeah, you can see there's actually potato, like pieces of potato, it's not fries. This one was my <laughs> weird selection. We just went with the home special. Chez Gaston has added a bunch of like onion and meat. So. Gaston poutine. We'll see how that yeah. works out. I'm not gonna lie, you can't beat a classic poutine. That is good. Mm. Or a poutine, like it doesn't taste like poutine. <laughs> I think the vegan one might be my favorite. No I might be my favorite. No I don't know. I just love the flavors because there's so many like mm -hmm. spices and herbs in that one. It just tastes like a full meal, like a whole, what is it, lasagna or pizza or something. Not exactly like a poutine, like you said. No. But I just like it. It's a delicious the, dish. It's but a delicious I don't dish. It's a poutine.
So yeah, that was cool. Something I never would have ever expected in Canada to find a basilica of this size and magnitude. Quebec City itinerary. It's only 20 minutes east of Quebec City. On your way to Charlevoix, which is the place we're going to do today. spot we are looking at the intersection of the river Saguenay that crosses into the Saint Laurent River and one of them is salty and one of them's fresh and then later today we're going whale watching so fingers crossed that we see some whales there's our little boat down there and we are suited up looking really cool <laughs> in our construction equipment So we just got off the whale watching trip and that was actually insane. I've never been whale watching before and I thought it was kind of more of a, like a boring bird watching activity, but definitely not. We saw probably a hundred whales between fin whales and humpback whales, belugas and some seals. It was bizarre. So make this a must do if you're ever in Quebec City, Charlevoix region, checking out this area. And we are back, back in Charlevoix. Here are the different crew, Kathy and Lisa are no longer here. I came back because this is the peak of the fall foliage season. And today's the first day and it is, as you can see, super moody in here. It's almost like the Pacific Northwest type misty moody vibe in here. So we made it to summit number one, and all we have for review is this sign. Oh. So you can just see this sign, but that's the actual view. We just see nothing here. Oh gosh, this rock is in this the middle of my. Oh. side of the road here and got these little horses. Nervous? Hey you. You are a cute one. <laughs> I like how we're the only people up there. Yeah, it's pretty cool.
All right, so here we are, last day in Charlevoix. We hiked up Le Massif, and it is a beautiful day today, finally. The last two days during those two hikes on Mont du Dôme and Agripol, super rainy, and the first day we didn't even see anything. And it's right now we just found these random chairs on the mountain, and we're just kind of chilling and enjoying the view so far. So yes, that is it for the Quebec Charlevoix trip. Never really explored Quebec before besides skiing. Hope you get to come here one day yourself. I definitely recommend this one. It's really cool and really unique for what Canada has to offer. All right, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.